it's definitely quicker and much more convenient to charge the car than to stop at gas stations every couple hundred miles along the way. That's 17 year old high school senior Alex Prell talking about the ease and efficiency of charging his electric car at home. John Uren, a college student, drives a Volt to school and thinks the argument about whether or not electric cars are the future of transportation is for old people. I think everybody in my generation is much more open to the idea of an electric car. They see it just as a new technology. Alex's father, Rick, isn't arguing. The economics of the all-electric Chevy Spark EV became clear almost immediately. I've saved quite a bit of money, probably more than I realized over the last three months since we've owned the car. You don't realize how much you enjoy not going to a gas station until you stop going to a gas station. Punch in my code, my top secret code, and I push run and I'm all ready to go. Jeff Uren was one of the original EV1 owners in the 90s, and now he owns two Volts. When I first got the EV1, you know, I was amazed by the car, but as I lived with it, I realized after a, a month or two, I'm not buying any gasoline, and I'm going to work and back every day and driving everywhere I need to go, and all I have to do is just plug the thing in at home, and I don't have to go to a gas station. My garage is my gas station. The Volt's an electric drive car with a big battery, and if you want to drive farther than the battery will take you, if you don't have an opportunity to recharge the battery, then you can uh, run on gasoline and go, and go farther. But the great thing about the Volt is, is you can plug it in anywhere because electricity is everywhere. There's always a plug behind the Coke machine or you know, somewhere in the parking garage at work. Chevrolet says the new Spark EV can go from zero to 60 in less than eight seconds and will save owners $9,000 in gas over five years. I'm Chris Hansen.